Hi, it's Tom. It's Memorial Day and I want to get my tomatoes in their hydroponic bins. This is the bin that I've set up for six plants. Last year I had it lined with plastic, uh, but this year I've put six five-gallon uh, pails uh, in it, squished in there nicely so that I can put six plants and keep the roots independent. I also have a couple of 17 gallon pails that are each going to get two plants back here. What I want to do is show you how I'm uh, preparing the plants for transfer into these bins. My preference is to grow up the tomatoes in the uh, net pots themselves so that right from the seedling stage they're growing in perlite so that they transfer really easily. But it doesn't always work out that way. For instance, I was gifted some plants by my friend Richard uh, who grew some nice heirloom tomatoes and as you can see these are quite large with a, a big pot and they're already uh, flowering. Now is it even possible to move this thing into hydroponics once it's in soil? Well what I found is that you can go from a potting mix to hydroponics but you can't go the other way and I think it has to do with the fact that in a hydroponics the plants don't develop the sort of root hairs that they need to work in a potting soil so you can't go from hydroponics to potting soil but you can go from potting soil to the hydroponic system so I'm going to show you what I do here I've knocked the root ball out of the pot and you can see wow do I have a lot of roots on this thing that's going to have an impact I think on the sort of net pot that I put it in but my first task here is just to knock off very gently <clears throat> all of the soil that I can and then I'm going to put it down in a water bath uh, so that I can massage out the rest of the soil. Alright, that's what I have left for the uh, root ball once I've knocked off a fair bit of the soil <clears throat> and I'm just going to plunk it down into the water and massage it gently to get off the rest of the soil. I normally use a three inch net pot uh, when I grow tomatoes from seed, but when I'm transferring these awfully large plants that are already flowering, I needed a larger net pot. And being cheap, I decided to make my own instead. So <clears throat> I took a small pot and a soldering iron and put hundreds of little holes all over in it so that it's just like a net pot. So we'll use this. And here's what the roots look, look, like, look like now that I've done some uh, washing of them. You see nice uh, white roots. So I'm just going to put those in the net pot. And my next task is going to be to fill the net pot with perlite and uh, try to get the roots distributed nicely in the perlite. The reason for putting the perlite in is that it wicks moisture really well from the hydroponic solution but also provides good aeration. So I want to get rid of the soil that was around the roots and replace it with perlite. By the way, I keep saying soil, but really it's a soilless mix that these uh, plants were started in. So that's a peat-based mixture with some other vermiculite and perlite mixed in. So that's what we're getting rid of and we're replacing it with perlite. So that's what I have now. I have this rather large plant in a very small pot. And you can see it's filled with perlite. And all of those holes are going to have roots coming out of them soon, I hope. Uh, and uh, we really don't need a very large pot and we're not worried about the medium uh, in there other than it having good aeration porosity for now. Because really the roots are going to be going down in the nutrient solution and the pot is just there to support the plant a bit initially. So this plant will now just go in some uh, water till I get all of the other plants ready to go. Uh, and then in about a couple hours, uh, once I've got them ready, we'll pop them into the nutrient solution. And we'll get this hydroponic salad table with tomatoes this time uh, going. Okay, so here we have now the pails filled up with the hydroponic solution and ready to go in the bins. And you can see the styrofoam cover is all ready to go. So we're going to cover these up, like so, and then stick a net pot in them. And you can see the nutrient solution, perhaps, just hitting the bottom of the net pot. So next thing we'll see is all of the tomatoes in there. And you might be able to see that I have some strings hanging down from 
the laundry line uh, so that I can string up these indeterminate plants. Okay, well, after a bit of work then, we've got six tomatoes in the large bin with the pails, with the five gallon pails, and we've got three 17 gallon pails with two tomatoes in each. You see some little labels on there, and that's because I'm trying out a couple of different nutrient solutions. So anyway, there we go. We'll check up on them in a week or so and see how they're transferring to hydroponics. Bye for now.